Hey everyone, David here, and it's time for Game Pass or Pass the Game, a brand new series where I talk about a game that I picked from a Game Pass description, play it, and then talk about it very, very briefly. So, this is going to be for one that is actually on a little bit of a time-sensitive scenario, which is a game called Observation. This is a game that is available on Game Pass, I believe, for both console and PC on Xbox and Microsoft. However... This is actually a game set to be uh, taken off of Game Pass on June 15th. And here's the deal. You have quite a bit of time to definitely play this game because Observation is one of my first recommendations out of this series. And from what you can tell from this gameplay here, it's a very isolated and atmospheric experience that's told from the perspective of a space station rather than an astronaut that is uh, obviously doing its orbital track and doing its research like any space station would. Except something happens off camera right at the beginning of the game and it's up to you as this AI unit that's built into the system to figure out what's going on working in tangent with the central human character, Emma. And here's the deal. The game can kind of teeter on being more so of either a walking simulator, except it's hard to call that because there's no, you're not really doing any walking as an AI. But it is very point-and-click adventure based where you're kind of cycling through different menus and also trying to solve different uh, puzzles with this aesthetic that is very reminiscent. And I've heard so many other people already make the comparison, so I'm going to do it here once more. Yes, it's very reminiscent of 2001 Space Odyssey. In fact, the central uh, AI character here, Sam, that you play as, it harkens back to the days of Hal from 2001. In fact, almost the voice octaves are right there, and the parallel is very easy to make. But this is such an atmospheric and really well-crafted game from a writing standpoint. And from a art direction standpoint, this space station looks like something that's legitimately tangible. You can tell that the creators of the game did countless amount of research to make sure that the space station felt authentic. The jargon between the human characters and the AI character sound like you know people actually trying to get something done amongst the space station. And that also helps kind of deal into the actual tension built when something kind of otherworldly is happening amongst the space station. And you're trying to figure out what you know, things are kind of going on, and for the most part, this is almost a damn near perfect game. I would probably say the only things that kind of take out of it is that despite the character writing being really, really strong with really awesome performances by two central actors, there are times where the menu interface that you are set to kind of interact with and trying to uh, divulge and break down to make the experience kind of flow better and to solve these puzzles and get out of the uh, situation at hand can be a little obtuse. For some people, I mean, there's one section where I had to interact with the laptop and I was this close to looking up how to proceed only to then realize that it, there was something that was just right clearly in my face. But because of the way that the UI is layered, it's a little difficult to kind of make out upon finally pressing uh, up and down on the D-pad and I figured it out. So it could get a little uh, niche for the way to interact with some of these menus and the facial animations show how indie of an indie game this really is uh, especially when certain characters take off their helmets and the the likeliness in the eyes don't really translate very very well but the saving grace are in fact the performances behind them the writing and keeping the mystery alive all the way to the very end and it's a tightly knitted package that really doesn't take long to play it's only about a six or seven hour game so you got plenty of time to play it before it gets taken off of the 15th which is why i give ops observation my first game pass approval of this brand new series so please check out observation if you have xbox and game pass or a uh, gaming pc with game pass it then you can play it on there and i fully recommend it thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of observation if you have already played it by now and i'll see you guys on the next game pass or pass the game stay humble